Hey, Navy Black 5184 here, and welcome to my reaction to episode three of the Clone Wars Shadow of Malevolence. Thank you to anybody that's new who's coming by, checking out the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And for those of you who are returning viewers, thank you for coming back. So glad you all are here. It means so much to me that you all are taking time out of your day to watch my reactions to this. If you enjoy what you see, feel free to like the video, leave comments, let me know what you think. And also feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out some other reactions I have on here. All of those help the channel out a lot. And I appreciate every bit of support you all give. It really means the world to me. So... With this one, it looks like uh, from the little uh, description they give on Disney Plus about this, uh, with this one, they're saying Anakin leads a strike force against uh, Grievous's warship, which honestly, I'm very curious to see what kind of plan they have now that they know about the Ion Cannon. And I tell you what, last episode, man, especially near the end, I'm just glad that I'm in at least halfway decent shape because Man, that will do some numbers on your heart. I tell you what, R2-D2, I'm sure you've heard the term cardiac kid. I feel like we need to deem him cardiac droid because good lord, sometimes he cuts these things down to the last minute. The funny thing is, I was actually kind of even thinking about the Empire Strikes Back when uh, he got the hyperdrive fix on the Falcon just before um, Vader and them could get the tractor beam on him. And here we are he just he got them set to go right before that ion charge reached them because if that got them man who knows what would have happened and it's crazy to think about how on edge that got me because obviously plot you know somehow they're gonna get out of it but the fact that i'm still sitting here i'm like r2 r2 the fact that it could get me like that even though i know full well that somehow they are gonna get out of it that really is a testament to the writers of this. The fact that they are able to do that to where I just completely forgot the future plot that I already know and just be so stuck in that moment. That was absolutely amazing that they can do that. And I am looking forward to see this whole journey. Um, I do know that I've had some people comment about how the order that these shows are in aren't necessarily in the correct order, I guess you could say. I know they keep saying like chronological order. Like, I think there's a season or there's an episode in season two that technically chronologically is before even ambush. And I do appreciate everybody bringing that up to me. Um, I, I'm probably just going to just continue to go in order here just because of the fact that, I mean, to be honest, doing this all by myself, it's going to be way more easier for me to keep track of what episodes I've seen and haven't seen by doing this. So I do apologize. Um that I'm technically not doing it in the right chronological order. I'm just going in the order that's on there. But I have a feeling that it's probably not going to ruin the experience for me. But we shall see. But either which way, I do appreciate every bit of feedback y'all give me on this. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this episode. If you're interested in seeing the full reaction, feel free to join my Patreon. I will have my full reaction up there. It'll be in a watch along format. So you just have to have a copy of this for yourself. As I said, uh, this is available on Disney Plus for those of you who uh, stream. And um, I will have a timer on the video as well so you can keep track of where exactly I am in the episode. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's see what we got. This strike force has been commissioned by the Senate to hunt down the enemy's new battleship. Our target will be the bridge and General Grievous. Skywalker's getting pretty ambitious. <laughs> I mean, he's trying to get done what needs to get done. What do you expect from him? We destroy Grievous, we can bring the war to a quicker end. Pilots, prepare your bombers. Are you sure your squadron can complete this mission? Let's ask them. Matchstick, you think our boys can pull it off? Yes, sir. There hasn't been a mission Shadow Squadron couldn't complete. I admire your confidence, pilot. We'll destroy that bridge, and Grievous along with it. Never short of ambition, that's for sure. Ooh! And there's the Malevolence just, uh, running roughshod over the Republic. Man, that is brutal. It's like I said in the last episode, it's like, even though I know they get past, it's like, how? Fire, nope, I don't think they're going to make it. Goodbye. Power. 
Avida Sane! The care of these Jedi show for their troops is a weakness. A weakness we shall continue to exploit. If only you all knew. And that was a point I made in the last episode too. When it came to Order 66. Which one's mine? You're with me. You'll be my gunner. Somebody's got to watch my back. You don't like my flying. Well, no, I... No, it's not that. <laughs> it's just I... You don't like her flying. Near Naboo. Isn't that where our medical base is? I'll bet that will be his next target. It is not possible to evacuate all of our wounded in time. You must try. You won't stand a chance against that battleship. No, no, you won't. And I am on my way as well. Thank you, Master Jedi. All right, so... If Anakin and Obi-Wan can get together, they're good. Oh, man. What a mess that would be. It's crazy. Already, not even... Just barely over seven minutes in, and I'm already forgetting future plot. Man, this show is amazing. I hope you know what you're doing, Anakin. Well, if I don't... I won't be around to hear that I told you so. <laughs> That's reassuring. <laughs> Leave it to Anakin to look at it like that. I know, r This is gonna be a tough one. r Alright, let's do this thing. Fighter escort ready. You are clear for hyperspace jump. Good hunting, sir. Thanks, Admiral. <laughs> Alright, boys. Let's go. Man, nothing has even happened yet, and I already feel like my heart rate is going up. I don't know if I should like that or not, to be honest. I want to get there before too many wounded clones escape. Sorry, sir. The Nava computer has had to calculate a complex course around a large nebula near the medical station. Uh, they told me this ship was fast. Okay, if we can just manage to navigate through my shortcut, we'll be all right. Thank goodness that uh, Grievous doesn't have any patience. Does anyone care what the Padawan thinks? Of course we care, Snips. But we're still going through that nebula. <laughs> Thanks, r So that's the nebula Grievous had to go around. So that must be the... that Obviously, that's the shortcut that Anakin was referring to. Because he knew that the Malevolence had to go around it, not through it. We will have to move the patients in stable condition first. The more critically injured will have to wait. Your basic medical triage right there. Guide the patients that can be moved onto transports as quickly as you can. You know, in wartime, the walking wounded, you know, they get priority. Can you see anything? Just keep your eyes on my thruster, Shadow 2. The scanners are useless. This is old-fashioned flying. You have to feel your way through to stay on course. <laughs> she does not look very comfortable with this. Oh, I'm gonna blow up that battleship. A clear path if ever there was one. I have a feeling I'm gonna really like Plo Koon. Our ship is unstoppable. Skywalker is leading the mission. Do not underestimate him. <sighs> I assure you, Count. If anything, it is Skywalker who will underestimate this ship. Mm, I don't know. I mean, he's kind. He's seen it, so. How did you know about this shortcut? It's an old smuggler's route. Huh, that makes me feel better. They call it <laughs> Balmora Run. Balmora Run? He does not sound very pleased about this. Skywalker, Balmora is the nesting ground of the giant Nebra Mantis. Another? Meaning... Take evasive action! Okay, um... Uh-oh! There are so many of them! Well, it is a nesting grounds, homie! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh. Okay, I got it. Ooh. What does this mean for them intercepting the malevolence, though? Oh, this is gonna put them back. Whoa, a lot. Oh! oh. Hurry! Oh We're no! Beyond the nebula. That one looks hungry. 
Nah, it's just smiling at you. I hope you're right, Anakin. <laughs> We're coming out of it. Oh. Let's hope your shortcut paid off. Man, for not a for not a lot happening in there, that was it was definitely tense. Oh no! How how close are they? How close are they? A squadron of Republic fighters is approaching. Skywalker. Okay, they're close enough. Good. Target the transports first. I want every single ship destroyed. Roger, Roger. Oh no! There's got to be something they can do. No! No! They can't block it or nothing. And with all their systems down, how do they care for the wounded? No! This is too easy. No! Come on! Oh, they got the fighters coming in. They got the fighters taking care of the squadron. Dude. Oh, Obi-Wan, we need you like Yesterday? Incoming. That thing doesn't need a recharge? Dude, that is like cheat code at max. No! Oh, no, no! Oh my goodness, how many did they just lose with that? Oh, this is not good. Oh my goodness. Come on. Master. I we think need a new plan. We can make it Ahsoka. Hang in there. Okay. When Anakin doesn't sound confident, that's worrisome. I don't think I've ever heard Anakin like that before, and I don't like it. Then we will finish off Skywalker. I have a bad feeling about this. Please let that feeling be right. We're too close. Loosen up. Oh, not a, another one. Good lord. They're targeting the station. We're running out of time. Oh no, 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 no. You can make it, but everyone else is getting shot down. She's not wrong, Anakin. Anakin, listen to the Padawan. New target. We're taking out the starboard ion cannons. Thank you! Come on, come on, come on, come on! You're right there! Get it! Torpedoes away! Come on! Come on! Oh, please be enough! Please tell me that's enough! That's gotta be enough, right? That's gotta be enough! Come on! Yes! 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 There you go. Listen to the pattern one every now and then. Anakin should know this more than anybody. Picking up three Republic warships entering the system. Oh yeah. There we go. Now what you gonna do? Now <laughs> what you gonna do? It looks like your mission was a success. Partially. I'm about to say not completely, but hey. Ahead full. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not even that fully upset that Grievous didn't get destroyed there as much as I would have loved to seen it. Even though A plot, I know it's not gonna happen, but man, I'm just so glad they saved that medical station. You didn't do so bad yourself. Uh excuse <laughs> me? I believe it was my suggestion to change the plan. That's kind of true, Snips. From a certain point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. If you will excuse me, I must prepare for the coming battle. Your master is a very curious Jedi. He is one of a kind. That's for sure.
Mm, all right, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, y'all, that was Star Wars Clone Wars Episode 3, Shadow of Malevolence. Good lord, what an episode that was. Man, I tell you what. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I felt such excitement about something. And again, I, I know that I had to have commented at least two or three times throughout that. But it's amazing how... I completely forget about the future plot. Like I'm sitting here, it's like, you know Grievous is gonna make it out of there somehow. You know, you know, you know he makes it to at least, you know, Revenge of the Sith. You know Anakin's gonna make it. You know Ahsoka's gonna make it and everything like that. But you still, the way they do this, it, you just completely forget about it and they suck you in so good in the moment. And the, like I said, this is only episode three for me, and I had already seen a few episodes, so looking at those and then just mixed with just me going through, I am really starting to understand why people love this so much, because they're able to suck you into what's going in right at the moment to where you forget that, you know, like I said, you, you forget that Grievous obviously is somehow going to survive, but here I am like, get him, get him, you know, like, especially when they had to go for that cannon though. And it's just like, man, I can't remember the last time, like, I jumped out of excitement or something like that for that. I, I probably could if I really thought about it. It's just been a hot minute. But, man, this show has got me so invested in it. And I know that I said that I'm probably just going to do season one and then take a break before I start season two. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know. The way this is going, I don't know if I'm going to want to take a break. But I guess it just really depends on... Uh, what else comes up on the reaction um, docket because I know that there's definitely uh, some movies I want to start getting into some other TV shows to probably start getting into but this one just seemed like such a natural start since you know when I got done re-uploading all my Ahsoka reactions from my own channel um, to start this one you know it just felt like a natural thing to start with the Clone Wars just so I can get myself caught up with all the other little side stories that I don't really fully understand but man oh man i'm understanding why so many people love this and the fact that they do it in shorter episodes like not even 30 minutes and yet they're able to pack in so much without it feeling like it's what's the word i'm looking for they pack in a lot but it doesn't feel like it's too much like convoluted maybe is the right word it's like it's just enough to really get your heart rate up get your blood boiling and get a great story in but it's still easy to follow oh man i just this show is absolutely amazing i absolutely love it it's easily turning into one of my favorite things to react to and all this and i am really looking forward to seeing episode four because based on the title of that one it looks like maybe they finally get it but we will have to see but man you know with this one i'm not going to say it was light on action because there's definitely plenty of action but even where there wasn't like even when they're going through that nebula man that had me on edge because it's like how again it's like you know they get out of it but in the moment you're like how you know, and it's like even like in last episode when the Ion Can was introduced, it's like, how does the Republic overcome that? But yet, you know, they do. But in the moment, you're just like, how? How do you overcome that? And that's what's so beautiful about this. So really enjoy this one. Really looking forward to episode four. And if you guys are interested in seeing my other Star Wars reactions, feel free to check out the playlist right over there. That includes my uh, Clone Wars Ahsoka as well. Um, thank you all for stopping by, and I will catch you all down the road.